Oh my God, have I ever looked better than this? No. What is up, gorgeous people? It's Amber, welcome back to my channel. Yes, it is me, despite the fact that I have no lashes, no eyebrows, and no anything on my face. Yes, it's me, the queen of extra. So today I thought it'd be fun to give myself a full 100% drugstore only makeover. We're gonna do the whole thing. Face, hair, body, makeup, who knows what kind of trouble we can get into at a CVS, but we're gonna see what kind of transformation I can give myself all on a drugstore budget. Honestly, anything's gonna be a little better than this. So without further ado, here we go. Giving myself a drugstore makeover. <laughs> Yep, very flattering. Look at that, we got some zits. Actually, my skin looks okay right now, but anyways, yeah, that's what I really look like. Woo, new Tinder profile picture? I think yes. Before we get started, here we go, a before. So it wouldn't be a makeover video without a good before, so here we go, that's me, that's my before. Literally, I woke up like this. <laughs> All right, so anyways, here we go. So first things first, obviously we have to go to a drugstore. So I hit up Rite Aid's beauty section to see what kind of stuff we could get. What will make me the prettiest? Picked out some funky lashes, some fun whatever this is. I'm not even really sure. Looked at all the brands and honestly, a lot of it was super cheap, which we love, love, love. Picked out some faux nails too. There's just so much to choose from. And of course, you know, I figured while we're here, we might as well get an outfit. The clothes here are not exactly killing it. Does anyone else remember these shirts from like first grade? Iconic. So we got all the goodies and then... Alrighty, so now that we got the goods, let's get started. Alrighty, so here's what we got. A full haul, lots and lots of things, including this hilarious t-shirt. This has nothing to do with the makeover. I just liked the shirt. Anyways, so we've got all the goodies. This was only 89 cents, by the way, crazy. But uh, alrighty, here we go. Alrighty, so first things first, we're going to take a shower because we're dirty and also I feel like dyeing my hair. So I dye my hair from a box from the drugstore mostly because I'm cheap. It's kind of hard to tell, but my hair actually gets like this kind of reddish color, which I really hate. Super easy. Basically, all you do is mix them together like a little scientist. Da -dee -da 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 -da. We love it. And then you just kind of plop it in your hair. I have a full video on dyeing my hair from like three years ago because I still do the exact same thing. So you can watch that if you want a good chuckle at me in 2016. But once you let that sit on your hair for 30 minutes, we hop back in the shower to rinse it off. FYI, I use drugstore shampoo anyway, but you can see we got this brand here. And then also I have a lot of trouble with getting pimples on my back, which is weird. So I use this, this kind of helps. Shout out to Neutrogena, thank you so much. We also shave our legs in the shower, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to get out of the shower because I don't know how to film me shaving my legs in the shower, but I'll use dun dun dun, dun what else? Drugstore razors, we have Chic Hydro Silk Sensitive Care. I did a sponsored video for them this summer and have been using this since. I love it, it's a great razor, so anyways, uh, yeah, smooth legs. But back to business, once we hop out of the shower, it is time to blow dry our hair. So again, not just for this video, but all the time, I use a hair dryer I bought at the drugstore. This is a Revlon hair dryer. It's fabulous. Dries your hair, does a great job, and I think it was like 20 bucks. So, da -na 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 -na, use that. Maybe it's Maybelline. Nope, it's Revlon, but you get the point. And also, not just for the purposes of this video, but all the time, I use a drugstore straightener. This is a Remington straightener. It works fabulous. I just really like that it's really big because I am an impatient person. So, it has a really thick plate, so it kind of does your hair quicker than most. So, bye. In case you're wondering how I film these, I don't have a tripod. I literally sit you guys in my medicine cabinet because, you know, I'm such a good YouTuber. Wow. Anyways, you can see my hair is now nice and dark. Oh, gorgeous. So shiny. Love it. I've been using the same box dye for years and my hair is still okay. So, I don't know. Take that with a grain of salt. But anyways, now it is time to tan our skin. I use Bondi Sands Tanning Lotion. I've showed this in videos a million times also. But basically, again, long story short, I'm really pale. So, you know, you just kind of use this. It's the mousse. I rub it all on with the mint until I'm nice and bronzy. See that? Pale, bronzy. Gorgeous. That'll darken over time, but that'll be our tan glow for the day. And it wouldn't be an official makeover if we didn't whiten our teeth. I am addicted to Crest White Strips. I use them all the time. They do not sponsor me, but I'm waiting. So Crest hit me up. But yeah, I do have very white teeth. So definitely think they work. Look at that. Yes, please follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to get to a million. It's on my mood board. So please follow me. But anyways, all right, back to the video. Now it is time to do our makeup. Da -da 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 -da. Alrighty, so we are going to do our makeup now. So here we go. So we're gonna use this primer here. Really lovely, mostly because it has SPF in it and we stand. I don't wanna get wrinkly. So most of this stuff I've never tried before, but this I've been using for years. It's literally the best. 
got this little beauty blender also from the drugstore. Look at that. It was only five bucks instead of 20 bucks and we love it. Here we go. Oh, she's so cute. Got this little wet and wild stick here for contour. So we're gonna use this. Do not know if this is gonna work. I'm sure. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't really care either. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just realized I forgot a brush. Hold on. Okay. Sure. Actually, I'm messing this up. <laughs> okay, the wrinkle is much better, so. Alrighty. Great. I'm so sorry you guys have to watch me do this. Okay, so next thing, we're gonna do some eyeshadow. This is an LA Color Nude Palette. Looks pretty nice. So then I also got this highlighter, which I think I'm gonna use as eyeshadow, so let's see. Actually, first I forgot I need to contour my nose, so we're gonna use this color. Let's see if this works. Okay, I think that, well, maybe it's a little dark, I don't know. Huh. Physician's Formula Highlighter. This is cute looking, so we'll see. Let's test this it. It's pretty, let's find out. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. It's hard to do this with one eye closed. I went ahead and put that on my eye. It wasn't quite as glittery as I wanted. It like wasn't really that potent, but I don't know. Went back to the eyeshadow palette, added a little bit more bronzy. Then of course my signature eyeliner. We have wet and wild eyeliner here. Um, never used this either, so let's try it. But you know, I could honestly do a perfect wing with anything, but this worked pretty good and it was really cheap. So shout out to Wet n Wild for making a good liquid eyeliner. I'm very picky, but this one was nice. So go ahead and throw in the inner corner too because we're a bad bitch. So we got that. Oh my God, could kill a man. Alrighty, now that we're completely cat-eyed, we're gonna fill in our eyebrows. We're gonna use this, not gonna lie. I saw commercials for it on Instagram, so I thought we should try it. Went ahead and put a brush on this because I didn't understand the brush. It was like way too thick to do your eyebrows with that. So I went ahead and put it on a little angled brush. Threw that on and just drew on my eyebrows. So I actually had eyebrows. So now you can see, look at that. One eyebrow, no eyebrow. Time lapse, two eyebrows. Of course, now it's time to do our lashes. We got some Kiss Natural Lashes here. These are great lashes, I use them all the time. So we're gonna go ahead, you can see, I'm actually gonna double these up for a little extra volume here, but plop one pair on top of the other, and now, boom, we are flirty. Oh my God, thank God for lashes, they really change everything. Throw on some mascara, this is L'Oreal mascara. Put that on the bottom lashes here, throw on some highlight. Okay, this physician's formula really popped off here with the highlight, look at that. And I almost would have recommended it if it didn't literally, I didn't even drop this. This just flopped out of the container two seconds after having it and fell to the floor. So I was like, all right, maybe not that great of a product, but anyways, good color. So then of course we're gonna do our lips. We have some NYX lip stuff here and some LA color oil. So basically I just overline them severely because we love a pouty Instagram pout. Clear gloss on there. Throw on some setting spray to keep it all in place. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, you know, for such a real tragedy of how I did this, it actually looks pretty good. Good. Great. So anyways, now that we're all set up there with our nice beat face, we're gonna have to fix our nails because they are disgusting. So we have some nice press on nails here that I picked up. Like, boy, I needed to feel really badly. So anyways, we're gonna trim off my acrylics because they're disgusting. So now I have a bare, ugly hand. But you can see these just come in all different sizes, little nail, basically virtual little nail pieces. And we're just gonna go ahead and you take the little glue container and you just press them right onto your nail. I actually have a full video on how I used to do my nails all by myself at my house from forever ago. So if you want to check that out, that will give you a more in-depth tutorial of that. But yeah, now they have fancy ones where you can just buy them pre-done. So, so shout out to the future. We love it. Any hosey. So I actually don't like the coffin shape, though you totally could leave them. I prefer my nails to be rounded. So I went ahead and filed them to be round. And now look at that. Hey, that was a pretty spiffy at-home manicure. And that only took me literally 10 minutes. So fire product. Awesome. Now we're gonna go back to our hair really quick. I'm gonna clip in some hair extensions. Dun, dun, dun. Shop in my closet for a nice pair of jeans to go with this fabulous shirt that I picked out. Oh God, this actually, I don't know about this shirt. So I did a quick little DIY that actually kind of made it worse. But you know, hey, it's fine. We're gonna make it work. So with our nails looking groovy and our skin looking tan and everything looking ready to go, we have one more quick look at the before so you can really remember how great of a transformation this is. Are you ready? Da -da 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 -da. Drum roll, please. And voila! This is me post drugstore makeup.
makeover with my tan skin, dyed hair, lashes, eyebrows, gloss, even our outfit. We are ready to go. Clear gloss is it. Ooh. Honestly, we're working it. It came out great. I am pretty dang impressed. Like, look at that. Hello? Yes, ma'am. My hair looks silky and shiny and black and gorgeous. Like, oh my God, yes, work it. Now that's what I call a hair color. It's kind of hard to do makeup with makeup I've never used before, but honestly, it was kind of fun, you know? Didn't come out too terribly, so that's a plus. My skin is looking nice and tan. This highlight is ridiculous. We really stand the highlight, honestly. And overall, we look cute. Not that we didn't look cute before, but you know. I love the nails. That's so fun. Meow. There's no reason to spend an arm and a leg on a full ass makeover when you can just literally do it yourself in your house. Hair flip. Overall, I could say we freaking nailed it. <laughs> so there you go, you guys. That was me giving myself a drugstore makeover. I hope you guys liked it. It was honestly really fun. And I think, like I said, everything I used in the video was under 15 bucks. So that's pretty cool. A budget friendly way to, you know, glam up yourself. I'm really living for these nails. I feel like such a bad bitch. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And don't forget, there's no reason you can't look fabulous on any budget. Hmm. Broke bitch tips for life. <laughs> I will see you guys next time. Sending you lots and lots of love. XO. Oh God. Vogue. Fashion. Oh, oh, oh. This is not a look. I should have just left it like this, honestly. Woo!